Hey y'all, we got a really fun video today. We're gonna to be talking about how to diagram your Power BI, your Fabric solutions, maybe even some of your database solutions. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about those beautiful technical diagrams that you see on LinkedIn or on websites or on professional PowerPoints. And today we're gonna to be talking about some tools to create them, uh, some tools two people in the community have created, and then, uh, a tool that I kind of created just real quick last night, which is why this video didn't go out last night, but instead went out this morning. All right, let's jump into the computer and let's take a look. Okay, the first tool that I want to talk about is Excalidraw. So Excalidraw is what makes these like kind of sketch-like diagrams. Um, it's open source and it's online. And uh, Miles Cole went together and put together a lot of these diagrams. Uh, for us. And you can Google it and you can log in and you can open up the library and you can create these kind of beautiful diagrams. So here, for example, you can see where I created, you know, just kind of a really simple data bricks to a shared semantic model to then a report workspace diagram. It looks really beautiful. Um, if you would go in and we like look at these icons, so if we go into the library, you can see he has put together a lot of the fabric icons in here, right? So a lot of them exist and it really has pretty much all the basics and everything you might need. Hopefully I'll link this, this blog post down below in the video description. The next tool that I want to talk about, I believe, was put together by Mark. I think he's a Microsoft MVP. And here he uh, basically loaded all of the Microsoft Fabric icons into a um, draw.io library. So draw.io has an online tool, but it is also an open source a desktop application. Okay. And he loaded just kind of this small subset of icons. Now, I really like Draw.io. It's kind of where I go to because you can load a lot of images and it's a free download. So I have the desktop app on my computer. I was looking at his images though, and I was like, I don't think that's, I think Microsoft's released a lot of new images. So I created a larger library, um, including, you know, like you've got all your React or um, is it Redux? I can't quite remember the Microsoft name for that. You have all your TMDL icon. Um, you name it, it's in here. And I have it, have them sorted by size. So here's our 20 icons. I have, if we go, and I'll show you how to import a library. In the desktop app, you go File, Open Library. And then I have all of the icons in here sorted by size. So I've got the 64 icons, for example. And here you can see they're going to be a lot bigger when you drag them out. Um, so yeah, this is how people create those really pretty diagrams with all of the Microsoft icons. They're great. If you're a consultant, this will really impress your clients. And if you're a data analyst looking to kind of step up, this is a great way to impress your manager. Let them know that you really put some thought into your solution that you put together. So with that, I will link both those blog posts and then my GitHub with a link to where you can download my icon libraries that I put together down in the video description. If you appreciate content like this, please subscribe. Please like this video. We're on our way to monetizing the channel and I got to pay off this $150 microphone that I just invested in. I'd love to get a slightly better camera so it doesn't do the weird flickering stuff. Um, but yeah, I need to stop. I need to make some money on, on this a little bit first before I start throwing money down the bottomless hobby pit. Uh, so thank you for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a good day.